Hello, in this video, you're going to learn how to create a drag and drop system inside Unreal Engine. So I have two slots here. One slot has an apple, one slot's empty, and I can just select this apple and drag it, and then drop it into the slot. When I do that, it's going to remove it from this slot and add it to this slot. And if I want to, I can then drag and drop from this slot into here. So in this video, you're going to learn how to create this system. This can be used in things like inventory, or maybe you just want to know how to basically move UI elements about. Before we get started, if you'd like to learn how to use the drag and drop system with other systems like an inventory, make sure to check out my RPG inventory system course. In it, we go over how to make a flexible inventory system with drag and drop, filtering, and a lot more. You'll learn everything you need to know about how to create a good inventory system inside Unreal Engine. With that said, let's get into the tutorial. To get started, I've created this folder called drag and drop, and I also imported this image of an apple. This is the item that I'm going to be dragging and dropping between the two different slots that I'm going to make in this tutorial. And the first thing we want to do is just create a general widget. In this widget, we'll basically create the widgets which the player character can drag and drop items into. So if we just right click, go over to user interface and select a widget blueprint. I'll just select user widget and call this my widget blueprint underscore background. I'm just going to double click and open this up, expand it, go over to my palette and look for a canvas panel and just drag this somewhere into the widget blueprint background. And then we just want to look for an image, drag this image into the canvas panel, then select the image, go over to anchors and select this one in the bottom right corner. This will anchor it across the whole of the screen and just change the offset value to be zero in all of the values. And that will stretch the image across the whole of the screen. And I'm just going to go to color and opacity, change it to be gray. And I'm also just going to change the alpha value to be something like 0.7, then go OK, compile, and we can close this. The next thing we're going to do is create the slots which my player character can drag and drop items into and out of. So if we just right click, go over to user interface, select a widget blueprint, then select the user widget, and just call this the widget blueprint underscore slot. Open this up, and then in the palette, look for your size box, and just drag this into our widget blueprint slot. Then select the size box, and go over to child layout, and select width override and height override, and change this to be 100 and 100. This will make it so our size box has this specified dimension. In order to make it so it actually shows this on our screen, change this from fill screen to be desired on screen. And we just want to zoom into it a bit. Go over to our palette and look for a border. Just drag this border into the size box. Then just look for an image. And just drag this image into the border. For the border, because I want this to have kind of like curved edges, select it, and then we want to go to appearance and go over to brush and select draw as rounded box. This will kind of change it to be a circle. Then in order to kind of make this more of like a rounded box, just go over to outline settings and we want to play around with the width. And I found making it around like minus 17 or minus 18 kind of gives this like a nice kind of outline border. Next, just select this image and make sure it is a variable and just call this the slot image. Then we just want to go over to our graph and we just want to create a new variable and call this item image. Make sure that this variable type is a texture 2D. So look for texture 2D and set object reference, then go compile. And we're basically going to use this variable to tell the game what image this slot should have. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this node called event reconstruct. Unreal Engine will basically fire and run this node before this widget appears on our screen. So event reconstruct, we just want to drag in our item image, get it, and we want to see if we have a value. So we can set what image we want our item to have. Whilst we're here, also make sure it's instance editable and exposed on spawn. We just want to drag up here and look for is valid. If we set an image, in our item image, then this will be valid. And if that's the case, then we just want to drag in the slot image, get it, then just drag up here and look for set brush from texture, connect from is valid into here. And for the texture, we can just drag in the item image, get it, and just connect from here into here. Next, just compile this. And then we're gonna close this and go back to our widget blueprint background. And we should be able to look for our widget blueprint underscore slot and just drag two of these in. They may look a bit weird, just select them 
and set this size to context and that'll make sure that they're the correct size that we specified. So leave one of them blank and then leave the other one with an image of something. So I'm going to make it have an image of an apple and it should appear. Next, we need to make it so we can basically drag this image onto this slot and then I'll be removed from this slot and then I'll basically appear here. So in order to do this, we just want to compile everything, go back to our widget blueprint slot and we basically need to detect when the player character is trying to drag on this slot. To do that, we just want to go to functions and go to on preview mouse button down. And this can basically detect when we are pressing a button on our mouse. And we want to check to see if the player character is holding the left mouse button on our widget blueprint slot. If that's the case, then we're going to allow our player character to drag the item. So we just want to drag off mouse event and look for is mouse button down. Then just select here and then select with your left mouse button and it'll automatically change it to the left mouse button. So we're basically going to check to see if the player character is holding the left mouse button when they're basically hovering on this slot. If that's the case, then we just want to drag off here and look for branch. If that's the case, then we just want to drag off true and look for detect if drag is pressed. For this, just select it and make sure it's the left mouse button. And we just want to connect from mouse event into pointer event. And then from this into here and make sure you connect the return value. This will basically allow us to know when the player character is pressing the left mouse button on the slot. If that's the case, then we're going to create a drag event. In order to basically access and use this drag event, we want to create another function. So we go over here and just look for drag. And we're going to call this node on drag detected. And when the player presses the left mouse button on the widget blueprint slot, the drag detected event should fire. So I'm just going to drag up here and look for print string and make this a drag. And let's just test that everything is working out so far. So let's just compile this, close this. I'm in the third person template and I'm just going to go to the level blueprint. So I'm going to go open level blueprint and right click and look for the event to begin play node. Event begin play, I'm just going to create a widget. That widget will be my background widget. Then we just want to add this to our viewport and then let's just right click and for get player controller drag off here and for set show mouse cursor make sure it's checked connect from here to here and then let's just drag off here and for set input ui only connect from here to here and then just go compile and let's test it out so if i click play when I press the left mouse button on my slot, we can see it print shrinks the word drag. Next, we need to make it so we can actually drag this item there. So we're going to actually need to create another widget. This widget is basically going to display an image of our dragged item. This widget is going to be pretty similar to our slot. So let's just select the slot, right click on it and go duplicate and call this the widget blueprint underscore dragged image, open it up and for this, we can just copy the slot image and then just delete the border. Then just paste it again and rename this to the dragged image. This doesn't need a border. Then we just want to go over to our graph. We can delete this is valid and we can just connect from event preconstruct into here and just compile this. Then we're going to go back to our widget blueprint slot. On drag detected, we just want to drag off here and look for create widget. The widget we're going to create is going to be the widget blueprint underscore dragged image. For its image, we can just drag in our item image and just connect this into here. And then in order to create drag and drop operations inside the Unreal Engine, we need to use a specific blueprint, otherwise it won't work. This is in the official Unreal Engine documentation. So that blueprint is a drag and drop operation blueprint. In order to create one, we can just right click Go over to Blueprint class, select all classes, then look for drag drop operation, select it, and I'll just call this my blueprint underscore drag drop example. We're going to double click and open it up and give this two variables. The first variable is going to be an item image. Make sure that this is a texture 2D object reference and make sure it's instance editable and expose its form. And create another new variable and just call this the item slot 
and make sure that this variable type is the widget blueprint underscore slot and make sure it's an object reference and again make sure it's instant editable and expose and spawn then just compile this go back to our widget blueprint slot after we create our widget in order to basically make it appear on our screen as a dragged image we can just drag up here and look for create drag drop operation for the class we can select the bp underscore drag drop example that we just made right click and go refresh nodes so that everything's in the correct order and just connect this return value into the default drag visual this will basically use this image to create a item preview when we're dragging this image then for the item image we just want to copy this and then for the item slot reference we can just drag off here and look for self because this is the widget blueprint slot then just connect from here into here and from here into here then just go compile close this and now if i go play when i select from here i should be able to drag and drop this image nice and i'll basically create a drag and drop operation of my um, apple image although if i select here i can drag and drop this image if a slot's basically empty i don't want the player character to be able to basically drag and drop from it so let's um, make it so the player character can't drag and drop from a slot if it's empty so if i just go back to my widget blueprint slot on drag detected i'm first going to do a check and that check i'm just going to drag in my item image get it right click and i'm just going to go convert to validated get and connect from here into here and from here to here only if we have a valid image in our item will allow the player character to perform a drag and drop operation so let's compile this play it and now the player shouldn't be able to drag and drop from the slot but they should be able to drag and drop from this slot next let's make it so the player character can actually drop items from this slot into this slot to do that we just want to go over to functions and then look for drop and select this one on drop and when we're dropping an item into a slot you should see we have a reference to this operation we can just drag off here and cast to our bp drag and drop example then we just want to right click and promote it to a variable and we'll be able to reference all of the information about the item that the player character has currently dragged and is trying to drop into this um, widget so i can just drag off here and i can get the item image and i can also get the item slot variable that we made and what we want to do is we just want to drag in our slot image get it and just drag up here and look for set brush from texture and connect from item image into here and from here into here this will make it so when we drop an item into the slot it will have the image of the item that we're basically trying to drop and then when we drop an item into our slot we want to basically remove it from the old slot so if we just go over to the event graph Let's just right click and look for add custom event and just call it clear image. And when we do this, we just want to drag in our slot image, get it, then just drag up here and look for set brush from texture and just leave it blank. That will clear the image. And then we also just want to drag in the um, item image and just set it. And this will make it so it's no longer valid. Let's go back to our on drop. When we drop an item into our slot we basically want to remove the item that we just dropped so let's just drag up here and call the clear image and then we also want to make it so the item that we just dropped into our slot does have a valid item image so we just want to drag in the item image and also set it to have whatever item image the item that we just dropped into the slot has so let's connect from here to here here to here and from here into here and from here into here and just check this go compile save everything now if i go play i can select here i can drop it into here when i do this this should clear this slot so i should now be able to drag and drop from this slot into here and just like that we've created a drag and drop system if you'd like to learn how to make an even more advanced drag and drop system with an inventory system and a lot more Make sure to check out my RPG inventory system course. In it, you'll learn how to make a flexible inventory system where the player character can drag and drop items, sort items by different categories, and so much more. It's really the best inventory system course.
If you want to learn everything inside it, make sure to basically check it out. There'll be a link to it in the top description of this video. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.